here at Sandia, we work on an application, Serious Structural Dynamics. A new enhancement to this is using GPUs to greatly accelerate our solution time to giving uh, results to analysts using this application. Uh, the application is used for simulating uh, vibrations and shocks of structures. Say like there's a sensitive system in a truck driving down the road that occasionally hits potholes. Designing that system to be optimal in that environment and uh, survive in that environment. So the biggest issues and challenges we're seeking to address is to get uh, results faster. Uh, if we want to affect design cycles, we need to get the, those results uh, into the hands of, of analysts so they can iterate on that design as quickly as possible. And to do that, we want to use GPUs, and not just one GPU, but thousands of GPUs, all working together to solve a problem as fast as possible and get these hundreds of times speed ups. With the 10 times to 20 times speed ups, that means that we can now run exceptionally large models in a reasonable amount of time. Instead of taking days to solve, it now takes hours. So now we can run models out to frequencies that we previously couldn't achieve before. This is a game changer that we're using what is now the third most powerful computer in the world, uh, the Sierra machine at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, and harnessing its full power of these thousands of GPUs to apply to an engineering design problem. Uh, this is something that we, uh, we wouldn't see in, in, you know, uh, outside of the Department of Energy Labs. We have these, this confluence of mission needs along with these uh, very impressive computational hardware coming together to solve a design problem. Sierra Structural Dynamics is really useful when it comes to uh, fully exploring the space of the analysis and this can also be used to support experimental testing because uh, experimental testing is very expensive and takes a long time to plan whereas these simulations we can run essentially as many as we're able to. And so being able to run these high fidelity models is really helpful in uh, creating test plans to get us better test data and also um, for running these simulations that can go into the space that we can't test experimentally. So we're really excited to be harnessing the technology and the power of these GPUs in Sierra Structural Dynamics to enhance the security of our nation.